Gotta say, it's fantastic. The Fantastic Four are officially coming to the MCU in their own solo movie, which will release in 2024. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure on Marvel Studios to get the FF right, and fans are wondering just how that movie's gonna turn out. Well, I have a few ideas that I think could really help to put a fresh coat of paint on this classic team that we've seen several adaptations of throughout the years. Don't worry, I will be talking about Doctor Doom. Let's hop into the Fantastic Car and get this video started. Well, we should probably begin this video about the Fantastic Four by talking about the Fantastic Four. The team are Marvel's first family, and some of the universe's best known and strongest heroes. As a quick refresher, we've got Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, who's stretchy, Sue Storm, aka Invisible Woman, who turns invisible and can create force fields, Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, who can project fire and fly, and Ben Grimm, aka the Thing, who is super strong and whose body is made out of rock. Up until recently, the FF's film rights were held by 20th Century Fox, and they tried their darndest to create a successful series starring the team. Two times. Yep. They had the rights to the Fantastic Four, and they blew it. Twice. Technically, the second time was basically just an excuse to hang on to their rights when they were about to revert back to Marvel Studios. Man, you gotta love studio execs. We've got to have money. Anyways, looking forward to the Fantastic Four are gonna be a really important team that Marvel Studios will have to make sure they do justice to. I've been seeing a lot of fan casts floating around the internet, and a lot of them are just really strange to me. Seth Rogen as the Thing? Really? Haters gonna hate, and ainers gonna ain't. That is not an actual thing people say. Personally, because I'm an incredibly famous internet content creator, I get stopped on the street all the time by people asking me who I would want to have play the Fantastic Four. And my answer to that is... Four people we don't know yet. I mean, everybody's got their eyes on these big names, but Marvel Studios has demonstrated a proven track record of pulling people out of virtual obscurity and making them massive stars. I mean, look at Chris Hemsworth, Tom Holland, Simu Liu. One of Marvel's strongest areas is the actors they get for their parts. Casting director Sarah Halley Finn and her team knock it out of the park almost every time, and I think that instead of getting four people that everyone on the internet has talked about to death for the FF, it would be much more interesting and fun to bring in four unknowns. I think they should be young, charismatic, full of energy, and ready to become the new faces of this era of the MCU. Or we could just do John Krasinski again too, I guess. And Seth Rogen, why not? <laughs> as far as we know, the Fantastic Four have not become heroes yet in the MCU. They could always do the thing that they did with Captain Marvel and the Eternals. You know, the, oh, they were here the whole time, they were just somewhere else thing. But this is one of the few cases where I actually want to see an origin story again. The FF's origin is pretty well known, but it's nowhere near the level of heroes like Batman or Spider-Man. So Marvel's got quite a bit of leeway when it comes to throwing in some new touches for a story we've technically already seen twice. Plus, if they do end up casting unknowns in our four main roles, following them through their origins would help us as the audience better gravitate to them and become more invested in their stories. While people are obviously looking forward to seeing the Fantastic Four, I would say that a large portion of fans may be even more excited to finally see Doctor Doom join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I don't want to be a contrarian here because I do love Doom and want to see him in the MCU, but... I don't think he should be the main villain of the Fantastic Four's first adventure. Oh brother, this guy stinks! All right, hear me out here. Doctor Doom is one of those villains that everyone knows and respects, even non-comic fans. He's not just a great comic book villain, he's a fantastic villain in general. So why would you not want to put him in the FF solo movie, right? Well, here's the thing. Doom has the potential to be a Thanos-level threat in the MCU, especially when Secret Wars rolls around. Now imagine how much less effective Thanos would have been as a villain if the Avengers personally fought him all the way back in 2012, with not much setup or anything. So much of that character's depth would have been lost without the years of context we got about his existence, and I think Doctor Doom is in a similar scenario. We need to slowly learn more and more about him. The fact that he rules Latveria, his hatred of Reed Richards, his lust for power, etc. Etc. I think it would be great to slowly reveal him as a malevolent force in the MCU. Maybe it can be revealed that he was Sonny Birch's secret benefactor from Ant-Man and the Wasp, or that he orchestrated the war between the Wakandans and Namor's people in Black Panther 2. The point I'm trying to make here is that I don't want Marvel to blow their load early with Doom. I do still think he should make some sort of appearance in the Fantastic Four movie, but I believe the MCU should take its time and build him up until he truly reaches the level of a Thanos-level villain. They called me a madman. 
So Doctor Doom is out of the running for the main villain role in my hypothetical movie. Who could take his place? Well, the Fantastic Four have a pretty decent rogues gallery for us to pick from. The 2015 film kind of tried to give us an adaptation of Mole Man, but not really. He could be a fun villain for the MCU though, kind of a starter to introduce us to the team and what they could do. We've also got other minor bad guys like Puppet Master, Big Wheel, or the Mad Thinker that could fill the role of supporting villains equally well. But let's stop beating around the bush and talk about who I think should be the main villain of this movie. Or should I say, main villains? That's right, I think that our main threat for the MCU's Fantastic Four movie should be a team. Specifically, the Frightful Four. For those of you who don't know, they're a group from the comics who were founded by the gravity-controlling villain, the Wizard. The Wizard is someone who's super jealous of Mr. Fantastic's genius and constantly tries to prove himself better than Reed, even forming his very own villain team to drive the parallels home. Over the years, a number of villains have joined the Frightful Four, including Hydro Man, Medusa, Thundra, Electro, and more. But the Wizard's always been there to anchor the team and direct them with his hatred of the Fantastic Four. I think an ideal lineup for our MCU Frightful Four would be Wizard, Hydro Man, Titania, and Absorbing Man. I think each one of these villains' specific abilities allows them to perfectly counter those of the Fantastic Four. Wizard's genius and anti-grav technology would make him a good match for Mr. Fantastic. Hydro Man could douse the Human Torch's flames, Titania and the Thing could go head to head, and Absorbing Man's abilities would allow him to adapt to whatever Invisible Woman does. I know we've already seen a version of the latter villain in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I've also accepted at this point that, as much as I love it, the show probably won't be held up as MCU canon, so I'm fine with bringing in a new version of Absorbing Man. Plus, it would give us the chance to have a slightly more comic accurate take on Titania after her debut in She-Hulk. And we could even see her and Absorbing Man's relationship play out on the big screen as a dark mirror of Reed and Sue's relationship. I would reimagine the Frightful Four as a team put together maybe on the Intelligentsia website that we were introduced to in She-Hulk. After all, Wizard's a part of that team as well in the comics, so it would be fun to honor that connection, plus it would explain how they got into contact with Titania. I don't think the Four should be after some big, world-conquering MacGuffin, but I do think that they should be trying to one-up the Fantastic Four at every stop, with the scale of their villainous acts slowly increasing as the film carries on. Alright, we've got our hero situation mostly figured out and our villains picked. Let's take a look at what the actual plot of the MCU's Fantastic Four movie could look like with these parameters. Like I previously mentioned, my FF would ideally start out this film as young people and not super geniuses. Well, apart from Reed. And I would love it if his genius kind of isolates him from other people. Sure, he's got a girlfriend and two other close friends, but outside of them, he comes off as really cold and dismissive. He's made a lot of enemies, but also he's well on his way to the top. As a result of his personality, Reed has developed a particularly bitter rivalry with inventor and former childhood friend Bentley Whitman, who resents Richards for representing everything he wants his life to be. He hates Reed and his friends so much that he ends up being contacted through the Intelligentsia website by a mysterious figure. This person hires Whitman to sabotage a major experiment that the Four will soon be undertaking. You see where I'm going with this? I would have the Four's accident happen somewhat early into the movie so that we can get into the really good superhero stuff pretty quickly, and I think having Whitman be the one behind everything would be a nice way to set him up as a seriously unstable threat. The Four survive the accident and discover they've manifested superpowers from absorbing multiversal radiation, with each one of them having absorbed energy from a different universe, and that's why their powers are different. We then watch as they learn to use their powers to become heroes during the movie's second act, stopping Titania and Absorbing Man from robbing a bank and helping Spider-Man fight Hydro-Man. Oh yeah, that's right, Spider-Man's in this one too. While all this is going on, Whitman is seeing the results of his failed sabotage and he's furious. His mysterious backer provides him with technology and a suit that they say will help him even the odds against Reed and his friends. Calling himself the Wizard and claiming to be a new hero, Whitman shows up in public to the scenes of the Four's battles, trying to claim all the glory for himself, only to realize that he's in over his head. Furious at once again having been embarrassed by Reed Richards, the Wizard uses his technology to break Titania, Absorbing Man, and Hydro Man out of prison, forming the Frightful Four and setting the stage for an epic final battle. Obviously, the film would end with the Fantastic Four defeating the Frightful Four, and establishing themselves as major players in the MCU moving forwards. They would also dedicate themselves to tracking down Whitman's mysterious benefactor, who we would of course find out is Doctor Doom. This would open the door for the ruler of Latveria to take the main villain spot in a sequel, while also raising the question of why he hates Reed and the Fantastic Four so much. 
Throughout all this, the most important thing to remember is that the Fantastic Four are a family. Family. If their interactions don't feel real, then the movie probably won't work. So yeah, I'd love to see a bunch of cool action scenes in the movie, but more than anything, I need the Fantastic Four to feel like real people who really care for each other and are worth rooting for. Something tells me we're going to be seeing a lot more of the FF in the future, so we need to make sure that they leave a good first impression when they arrive in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well folks, I'm Matt Sonic, and those are my ideas for a potential MCU Fantastic Four movie. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and while you're down there, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.